Hey everyone, welcome back to Pete and Jeremy's D&D Time. We are on Adventure 3 of tonight, uh, which is a fabled battle uh, against the Rock of Buckler's Bay. Uh, for those unfamiliar, fabled battle is a battle that every hero must go against when they reach a certain level here in the land of D&D Time in order to continue to progress. Um, the battles are rolled completely randomly with a, some bit of choice if they get lucky. Not this time. <laughs> And yeah, they're today battling the Rock of Buckler's Bay. I'm going to have just a quick um, intro for everyone, and then we can kind of start things off. Uh, our first hero tonight, uh, Bioshi, the uh, the half-elf noble. Bioshi, uh, well, for those who may not be familiar with you, who are about to hopefully hear the stories of your triumph against the Rock of Buckler's Bay, um, who are you and what, are you, what do you do here in D&D? &D? Oh, hi, Pete. Oh God, not the voices again! I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm have to fight for my life soon. Huh. Oh, you, you're the other one. <sighs> you know, every time you guys talk to me, I'm always like about to die. I didn't say always. You're that are, are, are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I think you haven't died in every one of your adventures, have you, Bioshi? No, but you know, I, there's always something threatening my life soon. <laughs> Why, so, why? Yoshi, <laughs> who are you here, for for those who are not familiar? Oh well, I I, I guess I'm I'm a noble. Um, I, I don't know. One day my mom dropped me off at Bartholomew's shop and said that I would help me make friends, and then <laughs> stuff started to try to kill me. How is the making friends gone? Well, there's you, but every time I hear you, well, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say friends. You know, we're we're. We're like more of acquaintances. I just announced you. <laughs> well, well that, 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 that's pretty much how it's going. Oh. Oh, well, I mean, that's unfortunate. But you know what, Bioji, as a, as a fable to your hero, should you succeed in this battle, um, you know, th I'm sure that'll help you to make lots of friends. Yeah, or at least make you powerful enough to make them be your friends. Maybe Roger will talk to me then. Maybe. You know, more than just obligation. Who knows? Uh, well, Biyoshi, uh good luck in your adventure tonight. I hope uh, it is a success. Well, uh, so do I. I kind of like living. Shrug emoji. Next, we have Storm Dog the Strong. Storm Dog, uh, how are you? I am well. How are you? I'm well. Would you like some ale? Mm, maybe later. Maybe like well. after the battle, probably. Yes, very well. I yeah, what do you have on? Do you have anything like on tap, or is it just all bottled? Uh, it's all bottled. Um, I have not figured out how okay. to transport taps. I can fit mm -hmm. many, many bottles. But uh, yeah, I heard the dwarves of Ag were experimenting with portals on taps, but it just. It was not working out well yes, for them. Yes, the orbs are of egg are failure. So, <laughs> okay, Storm Duck. Some harsh. Those are some fighting words in Dwarven. Yes. Wait, I did not speak Dwarven. Well, I mean to dwarves rather. Anyway, yes. Storm Dog, For those who may not be familiar with you, uh, who are you, and what has brought you to work as Bartholomew's at one of Bartholomew's adventures here in the land of D and D time? Yes, I am. Uh... I am Strong Dog the Strong, owner and proprietor of Strong Dog Drinking Mead Brewery. In Drinking Mead Brewery. And Tavern. And Tavern. Okay. So, yes. Storm Dog, yes. I think I, I'm aware already, but for those who aren't, Storm the Strong? Uh, uh, Stor yes. Uh, the Strong is last name. Okay. And a storm dog was father's attempt to name me after brewery and tavern, but um, okay, he uh, he misspelled on on birth certificate. Very, but you he know was what? Very drunk. You gotta own it. <laughs> I yes. guess that that's fair though, right? Yes. Well, uh, storm dog, I'm sure that completing this adventure will help to catapult the name of strong dog uh, ale to. All of the land of D and D time. Yes, his with, whole with point. His whole point oh, of doing oh, this. It's all, uh, it's all an exposure gig. Yes. 
<laughs> That's it. It's just he's all, he, he's all marketing ploy. <laughs> well, you know what, Strong Dog. Um, I wish you the best of luck on tonight's adventure. I hope, like Bioshi, you don't die. Yes, I hope so too. <laughs> uh, which I mean, even if you did die, as long as one of you succeed, uh, survived to see the enemy defeated, that would count. Good luck. <laughs> Next, we have uh, Siren. Uh, Siren, how are you, uh, Mister Asmar Cleric? I know. You're one of the very you're one of the few uh, worshippers of of the Crypt Keeper here in the land of D and D time, right? That is correct. No, Siren, I don't mean to you know put words in your mouth, but is it fair to say that spreading the name and the tenets of of your faith is in part why you're here? That is correct. Uh, I'm here in part to spread the name of the Crypt Keeper and his tenets to the inhabitants of the realm so that's a real scary name crypt keeper it, it is it is one it is one, but one of his many names oh what, what are the other names well there are quite a few uh are they, are um, they secret names not really um they're just regional Yes, it's more. Yeah, it's it's basically regional. Like, for some, he is the crypt keeper. For others, he is the Lord Lich or Lich Lord. Mm. Uh, it, it all it just all depends on yeah. the region and what a particular person believes. But despite his many titles, he is but one god. Would you consider him a bad guy? You said Lich. That's generally not a good thing. Well, it well. Those who are part of the clergy know that he was, before he was a god, he was a lich who had been, who was somehow, and as you know, many people know, liches are generally evil, but somehow he managed to regain his morality, I guess you could say. His sense of self. Yes, his, uh, you know, he essentially became good and decided to become a god, not to uh, not in order to elevate himself, but to help the people who he had um, essentially turned into his undead minions and restore their sense of self. So, he's, so really, he's a good guy after all. Well, Siren. Uh... Yes. I'm sure that should you succeed in tonight's adventures, that will definitely go a long way in sharing the good word of the Crypt Keeper uh, and that, you know, maybe not all undead things are evil. Uh, something that, you know, some people haven't quite learned that lesson yet. So, best of luck. I I don't know what happens when you die because you're kind of already dead a little bit, but, you know... Well, when, well, those who, well, those who are um, undead have a unique relationship that results in them being revived as undead when mm. a resurrection spell is placed upon them. Very interesting. Yes. Well, you know what, Siren, good luck and uh, good luck in enlightening the world of the Crypt Keeper. Um, and I, I hope you don't die, similar with the others, even if you come back anyway. Still, don't want to die. Uh, and last, but certainly not least this evening, Rune Fang our uh, bunny folk fighter, Eldritch Knight, to be specific. Runefang, how do you learn all that fancy, fancy magic? Uh, well, it kind of came to me one day while I was in class, and... Uh, oh, you learned it from the Trigono. Yep. That is then, excellent. Honestly, it's, some of the spells do go over my head. Well, you know, I'm sure you'll get them eventually. It might just take a little while. Especially with, you already have all that uh, fighting style with a sword, right? There's only so much other stuff that you can really remember all, everything at once. Uh, so, Runefang, for those who may be unfamiliar with you, uh, who are you? And what uh, what's your kind of MO here in the land of D&D time? Obviously, you're learning math, but w what else? Well, about five months ago, I was taken by the Temple of Bahamut near near my home. And okay. over the course of three months, I I became one of Bahamut's chosen. 
That sounds pretty good. Sounds like a good deal. The hierarchy of the temple didn't see it that way. They branded me as a heretic and ran me all the way to Bartholomew's shop. Where I have I pretty much been living for the last two months. I gotcha. Well, you know what? I think this is probably a great opportunity to, you know, maybe use some of your, assuming you succeed, some newfound fame to maybe expose those, uh, those corrupt clergy. Is that kind of what you're, so. you're going for, or is this like a long-term revenge plot? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I, I can slowly eradicate the hierarchy and install a better one okay. that doesn't out people for being a chosen one. Mm-hmm. It's pretty weak sauce. Especially if you like, you claim to worship Bahamut, and then Bahamut's like, "Yeah, this guy's cool." You know, that's come on. You guys supposed to worship this guy, right? Though I also worship the Great Big Cloud because it brings rain. Well, everyone worships. The, uh, most people worship the Great Big Cloud. Let's be honest. Uh, what Rune Fang. <laughs> Was that you, Chunkus? And Rune Fang. Uh, of course, I wish you the best of luck. May uh, May the Cloud and Bahamut smile upon you on this day, uh, and I hope. As with the others, I hope you don't die. Thank you, other voice in the sky. <laughs> no problem. And so our adventure begins. Uh, you have made your way down to the uh, the coast, uh, mm-hmm. down to the Crimson Coast specifically, a region of the land of D and D time known for the lustrous uh, lustrous red uh, beads of sand which cover its wonderful beaches. A very popular tourist destination, especially in the southern area. But uh, you're more like in the middle of the continent um, as you've made your way to Buckler's Bay, um, a, uh, a town, a very, you know, important shipping and uh, uh, port town. Uh, there's tons of people that live here, um, uh, money and uh, goods come in and out all throughout all the time. And uh, yeah, you have been sent here by Bartholomew because apparently some sort of dark... Uh, shadowy creature has been uh, preying upon the townsfolk uh, and causing havoc uh, with shipping in the area. Uh, Some sort of winged bird in the sky, it seems. Or maybe it's a dragon or something. Um, But it's not a dragon because the adventure is called the Rock Buckler's Path. Um, So as you're kind of walking down the street, there's the fresh smell of the sea, um, which is, you know, very salty on on, on your nose. Um, there's the sound of hardworking uh, people kind of going about, but less so than it would normally be. Uh, what are you all? Uh, what are you all doing? Is you kind of just walking down the road? You've just arrived. I, I, I probably already put this on, like as soon as I heard the voices. Cast, immediately cast the mage armor. All right, cool. As, as soon as I hear the voices, that, that kind of there's gonna be trouble. Why? I just want a nice vacation. Roger said it was fun. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you like to drink to calm nerves? I, I I don't think I'm old enough to do that yet. Nonsense. He's no dr- drinking age in Lens of the type. Hey, I'm <laughs> eight months old and I still drink. Here you go. Oh, see this one. Then here, have drink, little bunny man. I'm just not sure what my mom would say. Yeah, uh, hmm. All right, well, if you uh, change your mind, I have plenty of ale to go around. And other drinks. I, I thank you. What, would you say we're friends? Be- because you did offer me something. Sure. Fine. We are I, friends. I need a friend. I am everyone's friend. Especially those that that buy elf, strong dog tavern and brewery. Uh, Siren, are you engaging? Are you indulging? And having a nice drink? Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong right now. It just seems like the town's going about. Mm-hmm. Here, have drink, Siren. Uh, no, thank you. I'd prefer to not drink, considering what we are here for. It will help you keep senses strong. 
I, in my experience, my senses tend to stay stronger when I don't drink. My my senses aren't, aren't well. They're not strong, but they're they're better if I keep on my glasses. Yes, those are very thick glasses. Oh, yeah, it, it, it took the trigonomes a while to be able to make them look like this. <laughs> Very strong prescription. There's a bit more carrots. You could almost say the prescription is strong. <laughs> you should become undead. You can just get new eyes. Uh, Siren, yeah. you are extremely creepy. Wait, Siren, would you like ectoplasm? I have it. What? I made it's ectoplasm. A bad, hey, uh, when, you, when you're undead, losing body parts is quite common. So why not uh, accept? Besides, all body parts that are that we acquired are donated. Donation is the body parts. Yes. Yes. There are those That's... who will, who do donate their body parts. That could not possibly exist. Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> As you're kind of all having this conversation, you're just kind of in the middle of the road. It's like a bright sunny day. It's not a cloud in the sky. Oh god, I'm gonna get sunburned. <laughs> <laughs> be like getting a little sunburn. Is uh, there a is there tiki bar? There's a tiki bar. Yeah, it's right down the road. Okay. I have to it's go right give sales. I have to go give sales pitch. I had tiki bar. <laughs> Alright, so Stormdog heads down to the Tiki Bar, and uh, presuming none of you have anything better to do, you just gotta follow him. Uh, Don't yeah. leave me behind, we're friends. <laughs> Stormdog, <laughs> you get to the, the Tiki Bar, um, and you can see there's like a very, very fat, pale halfling wearing like a hula skirt, uh, and uh, he kind of looks to the, hey, welcome to the Tiki Bar. Uh, what can I get for you? You want a drink? No, my friend. I have drinks for you. Uh, pockets okay. and putting them on the, on the counter. You start taking out all your drinks and laying yeah. them out, and you start giving them the pitch, uh -huh. uh, and you're just kind of talking to this guy. Meanwhile, the rest of you, do you want uh, any 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 drinks here? Or are you going to chill? It's a beautiful do, day. Do you happen to have any sunscreen? These sheets of paper aren't too thick. They don't block the oh, dangerous yeah. UV rays of the sun. <laughs> yeah, oh. give me some sunscreen. Oh, you want sunscreen? I have sunscreen. Is <laughs> <laughs> is drinkable and blocks, as you said, dangerous UV rays of. Not guaranteed to block dangerous UV rays of sun. Hmm. Here you go. Oh, oh, oh thank you. No, no. Let me just. And you see him slowly lifting a page, putting sunscreen under it, putting the page back down. <laughs> lifting a page, putting <laughs> sunscreen under You're using... Oh, okay. Fine. So, as you're all just kind of hanging out at this tiki bar, and, uh... It's, uh, starts to get a little windy. And, uh, in the distance, you kind of, like, hear thunder. And, you, you know, go off the side and look up, and... Wow, I mean, you've probably been here for a little while. Is it's kind of like getting stormy out? It's pretty cloudy. The uh, wind is starting to pick up, and uh, it's getting like dark. Uh, you hear the sound of the the, the rest of the dock district kind of disappearing as a sudden like flash storm starts to show up. This uh, is uh, this is good sign in your religion. You funny. And it begins. To uh, uh, this is. I don't know about you, but something tells me this is not good. Oh, come on. I just this is not the word of the cloud. Getting on the sunscreen, now it's being washed off. Well, you're under the tiki bar right now, Yes, right? but there's no like sun. little palm fronds and bamboo above you. Uh, and the, the tiki bar guy says, all right, I'm going to go inside. And he kind of goes into, like, the little tiny hut that's behind the counter and just closes the door. Uh, Wait, do we have deal? Something tells yeah, me sure. no. <laughs> okay, I will hold you to that. Over, one. we can, we can, we can sign something. I have already signed for you. Wait, what? I don't think you could do that. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm like, a witness. I saw him do it. As you guys are yelling at each other through the door, uh, I saw him sign nothing. 
the wind picks up pretty dramatically uh, and you hear like the entire uh, tiki bar area creaking under the, the force and uh, suddenly there's a huge gust of wind that whoosh, blows most of the tiki bar away and a gigantic winged creature whoosh, comes down through the storm and in a flash whoom, scoops all of you up in its gigantic beak and takes to the sky. Uh, I need all of you to roll for initiative as the rock uh, Do I have, uh, do I have advantage on this yet? I don't know. Uh, this isn't... Um, when, when do I get that? <laughs> I have no clue. Well, uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. We're fine. <laughs> You're double fine because it goes last. Uh, I probably of... should have expected this as soon as I <laughs> heard the voices. <laughs> it gobbles you up. Uh, you all just kind of in its huge beak. It appears to be a pelican variety <laughs> of a rock. You're in this gigantic kind of smooth sided beak of this huge bird. Its mouth is open just a little bit and you can see the clouds and the rain coming down all around you. You're already very high. Uh, it's a pella rock. And Stork Dog, you are first to go. What would you like to do? Oh, I am very angry because paperwork got blown away. Oh, ruined. Absolutely in, uh, ruined. I'm not ruined, but I'm a little upset. Uh, so I will <laughs> no, get... No, I mean, the, the paperwork ruined. Oh, yes. Paperwork ruined, destroyed in water and wind. So I will get very angry. Tag Pelican from inside mouth. <laughs> It, uh, it, it gobbles, kind of. I will attack it recklessly while being very, very upset. For Alrighty. 14. You swing with your great axe, and it ching, unfortunately deflects off of the uh, the hard uh, kind of material of the beak, not uh, quite uh, being able to get very it. Very upset. Uh, alrighty. The Storm Dog angrily attacks the rock. Uh, we move to the next in the initiative order, which is Rune Fang. What would you like to do? You're currently in the beak of this gargantuan pelican bird. Well, I'm going to fire three magic missiles down at the throat. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, you just take the magic missiles, blast it uh, a whole bunch of times for a total of eight damage. Radical. Um, oops. Count the health there. Sorry, I gotta keep. There we go. Alrighty, yeah, you you hit it with your magic missile a couple times. Um, is there anything else you'd like to do? Not at this time. Alrighty, we move to the next in the initiative order. Uh, Biyoshi, uh, you're jostled. You've been kind of thrown down. You think you scuffed your elbow? What would you like to do? Well, all of it jostling. I'm just trying to keep my myself steady, but. Oh god, I think I think my swords just fell out of my pocket. <laughs> your short swords fall out of your pocket, and one of them just happens to get it right I don't know how, it chips it. Oh god. I, okay. I'm imagining it hits the tongue not down there. <laughs> there we go. You hit the tongue of this creature oh, uh, as it continues to fly. Uh, is that the end of your championship? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. Once I get the swords, I can secure them a bit better. <laughs> Alrighty. Siren, we move to you. Uh, what would you like to do? I am going to use Channel Divinity on it uh -huh. to use Path to the Grave. Oh, dang. What does that, what does your Path to the Grave do as you channel the power of the Crypt Keeper into, uh, into your magic? It curses the rock until the end of my next turn. And what happens is the next time it gets attacked, uh, the curse activates and makes it vulnerable to all of the that attack that attack's damage. That's yes. wicked good. That'll be really great if Storm Dog nails it. Um, the rock is going to go at the end of your turn. I assume that's your turn, Siren? Sorry. Yeah, that, that uses my action. Alrighty, uh, the rock is going to uh, make a horrible gurbling sound, uh, and then it's going to use its beak shake, uh, which is... 
Uh, it just shakes its beak around. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, can all of you roll me strength saving throws? Uh, the DC is 16. Oh man, rough. Uh, Runefang, you're the only one to succeed jumping with your bunny-like reflexes. Uh, you're able not to like get too hurt by it at all. Actually, you take no damage. Uh, the rest of you, however, fall prone, which doesn't matter too much, and are gonna take nine bludgeoning. Uh, if. As it, uh, yes, have for Strong Dog, because Strong Dog is strong. Uh, strong. And very upset, very, Pissed. very angry. Yeah. Uh, and actually, we move to your turn, Strong Dog, as uh, that's all that's all the rock does this turn. Yes, I um, will stand up and attack Brock recklessly again. Okay. Yes, now we hit. Yeah, you... For, uh, for 34 damage. Oh, shit! Yeah. Uh, all right. Holy moly. Yeah, the path to the grave... Um, I imagine the entire creature kind of is encased in necrotic power um, as it, uh, as like the axe cleaves into its its tongue and the fleshy uh, the fleshy bit kind of gets um, severed and probably cut in twain uh, by your axe, Stormdog. Very good time to roll maximum damage. Yeah, holy moly, that's monstrous. So does oh. it continue to be vulnerable to slashing? No, it's only that one attack. Uh, but that was an hell of an attack. Thorn Dog, is that all you're doing? I assume you stand up? Yes, I am standing. Okay. Uh, Rune, I move to you. What would you like to do? Well, I'm going to use my hand axe, and since I'm currently near... Oh. All of you can see, by the way, uh, the lightning strikes provide light here. Through the uh, I'm going to jump up and slash the roof of, the roof of its mouth. If my awesome. hand out. Uh You have absolutely hit with a 20. Uh, eight points of, of a slashing damage. Very nice. Yeah, you jump up and shing, slash through its mouth. Um, it's got a very large beak. But you notice the top is definitely a little more vulnerable than the other one. And yeah, you make a nice, uh, not like too much of a decision, but you scrape and cut at it pretty badly. Uh, so it's eight points of damage. Um, is there anything else you'd like to do, in fact? Aim for the roof of the mouth! And that's the end of my turn. Alrighty. Uh, we move to the next in the initiative, Biyoshi. Uh, you, your swords seem to have fallen, uh, but you could pick them up if you wanted. What would you like to do? Well, I imagine I resecured them earlier. Yeah, absolutely. That's what happened last turn. You got them. Well, now I finally got one of my books open. And that throat seems kind of dark. I want to see what's down it. So that, I don't know, I've <laughs> Every time. This Every book time. is brand new as well. <laughs> as I fire. Ah, what, what is, uh, oh, I know what this is. My, oh, God. <laughs> Wait, I forgot to put the description on it. Oh. That's all right. If you open up your book, um, what is the fox fire like? The just blasts of fire? Or? No, there, there, let me, get, give me one second. I'll just you can just give. You can just tell me. It's all good. We can just go with that. But I, I wrote it all out. There you go. Oh, of course I quit. Oh. This is why, Yoshi. I'm so sorry, my friend. Uh, yeah, you you'll hit as your ancient tome depicts a single fox with a rune on the cover. Uh, when it opens, three flaming foxes run from it and charge down the uh, the pelican's throat, and it gurgles in pain. One of them's gonna hit. You hit only the damage. Uh, it's going to be a total of seven. All righty. Uh, yeah, the fire scorches the inside of its throat, and you can see down there, there's like a wagon, and uh, it looks like a couple skeletons, and it looks like it ate some people. Uh, is that the end of your turn, Biyoshi? <laughs> Do any of those people look alive? No, they're all like dead. Oh, well, unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unfortunate indeed. Uh, Siren, what would you like to do? Uh... Guiding Bolt. Okay. You conjure forth your uh, divine power and blast out, barely making contact. Go ahead and give me your damage roll uh, as the uh, uh, the Guiding Bolt illuminates and uh, courses over the creature. You're just all about that buffing Storm Dog, huh? Yeah. Uh, all right. 
the uh, the light kind of spreads all throughout the creature, and because it's now encased in light, it's very bright in here. You can see that deep down its throat there's like burbling acid and all sorts of terrible, terrible things. Uh, and as you guys have started really like attacking uh, this pelican, um, we move to its turn, and it is pissed. And uh, what it's gonna do is it is going to make like horrible pelican noises. Uh, and it goes pelican because that's what pelicans do. Uh, and it is once again going to use a beak shake. So can everyone roll me that straight saving throw? I I don't think that's actually rolling. God. Oh, shit. it is not. That is very bizarre. I am so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> you have very consistent damage. All right. Yeah. This explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so consistent. All right, it should have been six and five damage. Why is it doing that? Why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All I am right. not in this. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So it should have done three less damage last turn and only five damage this turn. I say, that sounds pretty crazy for what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sauron would have been down. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I have... Uh... Take uh, no damage, yes? 16 uh, saves? The 16 is going to save, yeah. It's going to be no damage if you, say, if you succeed. Uh, however, uh, ba -ba -ba, that means there are three of you that, or two of you that failed, as Runefang once again deftly is able to bounce off. Uh, let's see which of you it's going to try and swallow. Oh no. All right. Siren, it throws you back. You find yourself. As it throws its uh, beak upward, you tumble down its throat, past the cart, past the skeleton, Whoa. into the stomach below. Okay, is there any save I can make? Nope, because you failed that save, down you go. It can just do that, it can swallow. Uh, uh, you are blinded uh, and restrained while inside of it. Uh, actually, wait, no, I'm sorry, you're just blinded because there's just no light down there. But right now there is light. Usually you'd be blinded. <laughs> Um, well, please make up my. I have dark oh. vision, so. Oh, never mind. Well, you're fine. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. But, all right. <laughs> That's the. I know what uh, I'm doing next. End of his turn. Uh, the end of his turn. We move to the next in the initiative, which is. Um, Storm dog. Storm dog. You see, your friend has fallen down into the beast's stomach. Uh, Siren, you can see down there, and it looks like it's a lot fleshier down here. And actually, I'm reading the effect right now. You are actually blinded and restrained. I was totally wrong. It just there's so much like stuff down there that you can't really see. It's like pushed you up against walls. You're in a smooshy stomach. Uh, sorry. So, Storm dog, go ahead. Yes, I will. I um, think. Okay. It's because with advantage because of uh, guiding bolt. Yeah, you know that like. Okay, fine. I was gonna what, say what? you know that like if you hit this creature from the inside, you could potentially make it regurgitate siren. Uh, ah. However, up here in the beak, that's not gonna do. You'd have to go into the stomach. You think? Uh, is not... this more like controlled for what I would not be restrained and yeah stuff um, ah. But you'd have disadvantage on your save against the beak shake the next turn. I see. Uh, yep. Evens out, because have advantage. So, yes, I will do that then. All right, so you, like, go to climb down the throat. You jump, uh, catch yourself on the cart, and, like, hang down from a wheel. Uh, and you can't quite get down to swing into the stomach. So you grab onto, like, parts of the skeleton that are hanging from the cart. And you're hanging down there. You swing, and you hit. Go ahead and do your damage. 15 oh damage. <laughs> so much damage. Jesus Christ. The rock is like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, not super stoked. Mm. Um, and we move to the next in the order, uh, which is Runefang. Runefang, you see Storm Dog is going down the gullet too, but like intentionally. What would you like to do? Well, I'm going to help. Magic missile down the throat. Again. Oh, sick. Yeah, you can just do that. Go ahead and give me the damage. Um... 15 plus an additional uh, 6. That's 21. Alrighty, the rock is getting pretty close. Um, to regurgitating, I mean. Uh, We've already won. 
<laughs> the game's over, guy. No. Uh, Biyoshi. Okay, I, I have kind of a weird question. Uh -huh. Is something that's based on a certain area, is that relative to me or relative to, like, space? What do you mean? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you mean you're a string of, of arcane words and letters. <laughs> this yes. is verbal component. This uh, specifically, when that, like, that because would, it's flying. I think that's fine. That would fly with it, I'd say. Okay. Now, raw rules is written, probably not, but. Ugh. That's weird, actually. Yeah, in case it's like. Yeah, because I think because it is the arena, yeah, I think you get like one, maybe two turns with it, depending on how fast it's flying. Well, nah. Then, yeah. Okay. And I'm, damage. I'm gonna oh, <laughs> invoke more arcane words. Alchemic. More, more foxes. Alrighty, you whip over the dumb of fox fire and three more foxes oh my God. pop out. Uh, one of them hitting it right in like the uvula, which I don't know if a bird has that, but oh, 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 and it doesn't like that. It makes a weird. Outside I'm going to find out. <laughs> outside, oh jeez. Uh, inside of it, its eyes kind of like bug out and it's just small. Uh, and uh, seven points of fire damage. All right. Wow, pretty damn close. Uh, we move to the last in the initiative, Siren. This thing looks like one more solid hit, and like it might regurgitate, it might throw you up. I'm going to cast a level two and six wound. Oh shit! You conjure forth the power of the Crypt Keeper and barely manage to get it. Um, you are restrained, so you'd have disadvantage, but the creature can't Actually, really restrained, I have you. advantage. Well, no, that's not how restrained works. No, restrained, restrained I... No, re I literally just checked. Restrained has advantage, blinded has disadvantage, and they cancel each other out. No, that's not how it works. If you're restrained, you have disadvantage. It doesn't matter No, how if you're restrained, you have the, advantage the, uh, against the creature that's restraining you. I literally I just checked. I know this rule doesn't matter. You hit him anyway. The 15 will hit. They cancel out. Go ahead and give me your damage. That's a pretty, pretty beefy amount of damage. Uh, yeah, you conjure forth your necrotic uh, power and press it against the, the stomach of this creature. And it makes a horrible, horrible guttural gurbling sound. Um, uh, alrighty, and it is going to try and puke you up. Or, I'm sorry, I'm going to try not to puke you up. Uh, it has a DC 20 constitution saving throw to make not vomit you up. Uh, it's going to be... Oh my god. Ooh, a 19, natural 19. It keeps you down, uh, which is really unfortunate. Uh, right, I think that's how it works. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, it, uh, spit, it, you take some acid damage. At the start of your turn, you're going to take, uh, 4d, 4 acid damage, or at the start of the rock's turn, uh, you're going to take 4d, 4 acid damage. That's 12 points of acid damage, Siren. Um, and I'm dead. All righty. Uh, unfortunately, you see Siren, like, ooh, kind of pass out, uh, down in the creature's stomach. Um... Ooh, that's bad. Uh, um, and it's going to take its turn. Uh, it's going to use its beat shake. Uh, actually, wait, no. It's taking a bunch of damage at this point. Uh, it's going to uh, vomit all of you guys up. Um, so it just kicks all of you guys out of its stomach at this point. So I think, actually, because kicking you up, I'll give you half on that. Would six still put you down, Siren? Yes. All right. So Siren's still unconscious. Um, as blah, it kind of tries to spit you all out, uh, and you all find yourselves uh, thrown from the creature's mouth. Uh, looking down, it seems the storm has mostly cleared, uh, but you're just kind of hovering in the air for a second as it just blah, vomits you out. Uh, you see Siren unconsciously like floating in the air next to you, uh, like about to fall. Uh, you see the rock flying toward you because it's vomited you out in front of it. What do you all do? It looks kind of, it looks like pretty hurt, but. Uh, Rune Fang tries to get over to Saren, do some healing potion down his throat. 
well, I think you got to grab, like, if either you're going to grab him and try and hold on to the, the rock somewhere, or what, what's, what's, is anyone going to try and grab Siren and hold on to the rock? Because I think all like, of you need to try and hold on, unless you can fly. Sounds like Rune Fang is. I will try and grab rock. All right, Storm Dog goes to grab the rock. Uh, Storm Dog, can you uh, go ahead and roll me your athletics check? Yes. As you go to grab on for the team. Uh, all right, 17 will do it. Where are you trying to grab on? The beak or, like, on the wings and stuff? Like, here, yeah, neckish area. We best. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, you, you grab on around the neck. The rest of the team is able to grab onto you. Who's grabbing Siren? Is that you, Runefang? Yeah. Cool. Uh, and, Biyoshi, are you at the end of the chain holding on to Siren's unconscious body, or are you after Stormdog? Because I imagine now at this point you're a chain dangling from the rock held on by Stormjog. I'm just trying to help Siren get up. Okay, so you're so all... That, so that Rune thing can shove the potion down the so, stairs. So you're grabbing onto Siren, basically. Oh, cool, cool. So Biyoshi's grabbing Siren and Rune Fang, you're popping the potion. Uh, what kind of potion is it? It is a 2d4 plus 2. Okay, regular potion. Go ahead and roll that. Uh, as you guys are now dangling from the rock as it's flying, all a chain hanging off of Storm Dog. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, all right. Roll. You still hear the distant sound of the thunderstorm. You gain eight points of healing siren. Uh, <coughs> as we move to the top of the initiative, Storm Dog, you've got one hand holding on. Yes. You have your team dangling from, like, your waist back. Mm -hmm. uh, I imagine Biyoshi's holding on by, like, on one foot, and we have... Oh, wait, no, because they're both... Hang okay, so they're both hanging on to you, uh, dangling in the wind behind you. What would you like to do? Uh, so realistically, you cannot use great decks, right? Yes? Uh, oh, two-handed? Probably not. Uh, okay. I give you disadvantage with one hand if you want. No, I'll, I'll just take out Javelin and stab thing in neck. <laughs> okay, just take the Javelin. Uh, he's also good for... Uh, if I stick it in, he's good for uh, balance. Or holding on, handhold. Yep. Uh, yeah, I established that last last. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, Good job. Uh, <laughs> I will. Uh, I guess attack reckless. Okay, that makes sense. Oh no! Not the... uh, go to stab it, but with the wind blowing and people literally hanging off of you. He's very windy. <laughs> I will try again later. Other do stuff. Runefang. Um, what would you like to do? As uh, you have just fed a potion to your friend uh, Siren. Uh, the rock is definitely noticed that you guys are all hanging off of it. And is like, you see its eye kind of looking back to you on that one side of its head. Like, oh, no, you didn't. You ain't still here, are you? Is the look it's giving you. Well, our thing's going to look at it. Mm -hmm. And say, your mother was a pebble. Uh... <laughs> Excellent. You're going to mock it viciously. Radical. Uh, I've got to roll a wisdom saving throw. It's a DC 12. Uh, it does have proficiency, but it's pretty bad, so it still fails. Uh, it's a 24. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, it's 4. Uh, no, yeah, it's, your it's your 24 damage, yes. <laughs> your words cut to its feathery core, or really acidy core, you just fine. Um, but yeah, you, you've, you've mocked it viciously. That gives it disadvantage on its next attack, right? I believe so. Let me check the spot card here. Super important. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um. Cool. We move to the next initiative order. Uh, Biyoshi, what would you like to do? I really hasn't had any good luck aiming today. <laughs> so I'm gonna attack it with some arcane words. Okay. Look, the repeating attack. And then I'm gonna attack it some with some arcane planes. Oh, whoops, only one of those. Okay. Uh, Tome of Arcane Planes? Oh, I see. This is a uh, magic missile. Yeah, uh, well, just sorry, the first arcane one. Arcane Planes. As you open up your, your tome with one hand, uh, the other holding on, um, the little pages. Uh, tear out uh, and uh, going for the them. eyes. <laughs> and they hit it right in the eye. And it's just Argh! like the horrible eyes. Stare at us like that. Bird sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you stupid Excellent. beady pelican eyes. You <laughs> stupid beady pelican eyes. Uh, Siren, what would you like to do? I'm going to command it to halt. Um, oh dear. I'm going to give you a heads up. It probably does not understand your language. I don't know if, if that's a requirement of command, uh, but you have a feeling it's a, just a giant monstrosity. Probably just, there's no like sentience to it that you've noticed. Um, uh, I do not believe that is... Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. It has to understand the yeah. language. And you would know that. So, I mean, you wouldn't waste your turn casting a command. If, uh... Yeah. Um, then I am going to cast Bless on the person that is currently closest to the rock, Strong Dog. Well, Bless can actually target up to three people. Storm Dog. Oh, then I'm going to cast it on Storm, Rune, and Yoshi. Awesome. Well, Rune Fang is literally up in your face. Yeah, Rune Fang is clutching onto you. (laughs) Hey, it's still, I'm still going to target all three of you. By the way, I just want to say that was a fantastic use of Vicious Mockery Rune Fang, because you didn't have any hands. One was holding on to Storm Dog, one was holding on to to Siren, and you're like, nah, man, I'm just gonna make fun of this fool. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah, the Bless uh, empowers all of you um, with, like, a weird... a, a, a potency and an, an imminence of death. Not for you, hopefully, uh, but for, for your foes. Um, and... we move to the next in the initiative order, which is The Rock! Uh, the Rock is gonna start its turn by attempting to murder Storm Dog. Oh boy. Look. Storm Dog, it has disadvantage on the attack roll, which is good. Disadvantage because of reckless attack, however. Um, My reckless attack. I would normally, you know, I, normally I think you're right, but like the vicious mockery got it, and it's trying to crane back and like hit you with its wing and its beak. So Listen, gonna, I'm not gonna fight you on this. Yeah, I just I just don't think it's, it makes sense that this thing could ever have a normal Yeah, no, no, here. fine. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Get the 12. He's, he's miss. Okay. Very much miss. And then it's going to thwack you with its beak as well. Uh, this one I'll give normal. Well, it doesn't matter. This one hits. The beak thwack blah, gets you four. Oh. Wow. Kind of rough damage. Nine. For four damage. Yes. Ouch. Ouch. Damage, you stupid bird. <laughs> uh, we move to the back to top of the initiative order. Uh, oh, I'm... S- that should have been... Uh, that should have been 2d12, but that's fine. Uh, we move to the top of the initiative order. Strong Dog, what would you like? I would like to attempt to stab it with Javelin again. Okay. Uh, again, once again, recklessly. Okay. You're going for, like, a better, like, yeah. Oh, oh my god. No! You... The same roll in reverse order. You're just aiming for the fleshy uh, neck, but Now, hold so on. His muscle. Yes. Would less make difference on outside of part? Uh, on outside of bird, uh, yeah, it would actually. Okay, it could. let's let's then let's roll it up. Yep, outside is twelve. Is the armor class to be? It then uh, still does not matter. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, the, the wind and the feathers, everything's just too too much at this point. Uh, Andy, you're still holding your whole team. Uh, yes. <laughs> Runefang, what would you like to do? Well, Runefang's gonna try and climb up further, so he can also stab it. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, you guys see below you at this point um, that the the rock has flown to the north and is passing the Aarakocra city of Skyhold, uh, which is a fantastic city kind of built into the cliffs here. Uh, but you see below you treacherous rocks uh, line the bottom of the uh, the cliff uh, in the ocean. Falling uh, would be bad. So, Runefang, you're going to climb up on it. Can you roll me uh, either athletics or acrobatics? I think I'll give you either here. There's a lot of hands holds with the feathers. Yeah, no problem. Where do you want to get? Uh, more towards the hub. Okay. Yeah, you climb. So, Stormdog, you feel this little this little bunny folk climb onto you and up over you. Um, and, yeah, you climb right up to the uh, top of the neck area. So you're like right up next to its eye, and it looks here, oh, kind of bewildered to see you. I don't know, stupid bird. And now I'm going to stab it in the owl. <laughs> um, I think it probably took your turn to get there, so I don't, I don't think you have an attack actually on that one. Uh, but the next turn you definitely could. 
Oh, I kind of always uh, action surge too. Oh, unless you wanted to action surge. Is that something you want to do? Yes, it is. Alrighty, you cast your, you use your action surge, the extra bit of adrenaline shua, pumping through you. You haven't would miss, but with the blessings of the Crypt Keeper from Siren, uh, you literally can't miss because of plus one, that'll hit the DC of 12. Go ahead and give me your damage. That'll be six, and actually it is vulnerable because you've climbed up to his eye. I see an M for 12. Uh, all right, the, the rock is looking pretty, pretty bad, pretty beat up at this point. Its flight is like kind of rocky. <laughs> no, uh, it's not funny. Uh, that was bad version style. Yes. And we move to Biyoshi. What would you like to do? I'm going to throw off the others because of that. I'm really going to climb up just just to get out of Storm Dog's way so that he can use his battle axe. That, that is exactly what's been happening. It's just all the people hanging on have been, have been putting Storm Dog in a tough spot. Yes, very uh, difficult situation. Okay. Uh, yeah, you climb up and uh, where do you want to get with that? Pretty much just a secure place on its back. Okay. Uh, can you roll me a dexterity saving throw? <laughs> oh, no. No. No? Well, you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you fall, but you grab onto, like, its leg as you're falling back. Uh, so now you're on the leg. It's pretty sturdy, but there are some big talents. Like right below you, your feet are resting on its toes. Oh, oh no, this pelican what? has talents. Yeah, when giant less... pelican talons, guys. I, <laughs> I'm not sure what that DC was, but would bless have helped? Uh, oh yeah, it would actually. I'm so sorry. Go ahead and roll me the bless. God, I keep forgetting the bless, guys. You got to remind me of this stuff. It's very important. Bless. Hmm. Biyoshi. Never mind. You almost fall, and you see behind you the treacherous talons of this pelican. Oh god, the coming of death. I can't, I can't. <laughs> you grab real tight on these feathers and ugh, and yeah, you're a very secure, pretty much in the center of its back. And have a very hard time hitting it. Is that all you want to do? Isn't offhand attack, can I do an offhand attack so? No, I unfortunately so. not. Yeah, but I, I think, okay, yeah, spell? I do think. Nah, mm, okay. so. <laughs> Alrighty, we move to the last one, the initiative order before Go Rock. Go get him, Storm Dog! Yes. Friend. Storm Dog, what would you, I mean, not Storm Dog, Siren, what would you like to do? The rock is looking pretty rough. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and cast, uh, Sacred Flame. Alrighty. Uh, continuing to hang from Storm Dog, you cast your Sacred Flame. Uh, I'll roll the deck save for this creature. Uh, deck is pretty rough at. Uh, it's got a four. It shouldn't have a dad disadvantage, but a four is a four. Uh, you're going to hit it for that five points, um, or three points, as the radiant <laughs> damage sears uh, its, its feathery form. Guys, I'm reading poorly right now. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Siren, you hit it pretty good. It's looking like on the absolute razor's edge of life right now, or death, rather. Uh, it could go down with a swift gust of wind. Um, funny. Very good. It's not gonna go though, uh, unless you have a bonus action, Siren. A healing bonus. Uh, like bonus action. I'm not sure if I have a bonus section I can do actually. Do you have the uh, spell healing word? If you have that in a spell slot, you could do that. I don't know. If you I know. could. I will do that. I will do healing word. Awesome. Uh, yourself, Storm Dog, one of the others. Uh. <laughs> What's everybody's HP? Like, right? who looks yeah. to be the most damaged? Just give you an Storm Dog. <laughs> Storm Dog? Uh, okay, then I will cast a level two healing word Ooh. at Storm Dog. Excellent. It's going to be 2d4 uh, plus your healing uh, modifier. Ah, he's feeling good. Points. We'll take it. Thank you. So, you're... Yeah. so yeah, you heal five points. <laughs> I am All now... Right. Close to full health. Uh, the rock is going to take its turn. It's going to uh, swing wildly. Uh, seeing all of you guys, it's going to make a, uh, a oh. wing attack against you, Storm Dog. Uh, which again, it, it does disadvantage. Well, it hits. Okay, that's going to be 24. Can you only have strength saving throw? Yes. Uh oh. Oh. He's advantaged. 
Oh, it doesn't uh, matter. The bless cannot save me. Oh, uh, no. Hey, T34 gave me four. <laughs> actually, that DC is incorrect. That oh. DC should be uh, five plus three plus eight. Uh, so it should be eight and 16, actually. So correct. 16, yes. Yeah. Should be. St well, I hit, got 15. Okay, can you all be a dexterity saving throw? As you start, as you are thwacked and begin to fall backwards <laughs> off the rock, yeah, you grab onto the talons of death. Of He's talons. fine. He's fine. Siren, are you all right on my leg? <laughs> I, I am fine. <laughs> no, Siren, you got to give me a dexterity save too, but okay. you just got watched by that wing attack. Uh -oh. Oh, and I'm falling. And Siren, you begin to fall. It's a bit of a fall, so that much is good. Um, I've seen those terrifying wings. Yes, we'll be fine. I am not afraid of death. I have died before. <laughs> and it's the not so bad, Siren. Falls. Well, it's the attack is going at, at Runefang first. Does a 16 hit your Runefang? <clears throat> nope. Oh, wow. Lucky you. Uh, how much did it miss by? I'm just curious. Three. Three? Oh, wow. You got some armor. Yeah, you hop, skip, and jump. No issue dodging this uh, this beak. Uh, your aerial prowess unmatched. Um, and your siren, you begin to fall. Just, ah! <laughs> or, siren, you're not yelling. You faced death before, right? You're not yes, yelling. I am not afraid of death. I have died before. Excellent. Uh, we go to the top of the nature of Storm Dog. This creature is looking rough. Well, what do you want to uh, do? How good of uh, a foothold can I get? Very strange. Uh, on the on the on the leg? Pretty good. Okay, I will sort of, you know, get into better stance <laughs> okay. and attempt to swing with great axe into a foul creature. Yeah, it's really hard to hit it down here. It's pretty, like, tough, because its leg is long. Um, I will but you can go ahead. Off. Just have a high AC down there. Okay, I will, uh, well, I will reckless attack. Okay. Are you using your great axe? Alright, so you oh, just yes. wrapped your legs around the thing and are swinging. Uh, 23, oh, okay, good. Yeah, you hit the AC with uh, 19. For uh, 11 uh, slashing damage. All right, uh, as you slam into the rear end of this creature, it <laughs> lets out a horrible pelican squawk and uh, uh, gives its last breath. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you do to kill it, Storm Dog? Uh, great X goes into belly and just you know, cuts open belly, releasing and, innards yeah. and boat. A cart, uh, a small boat, <laughs> like a dinghy, some barrels, a bunch of skeletons, all just splash down, siren falling near you. Not on you, thankfully. Uh, mm. and, and for about... Collect some spare parts. Well, with, 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 with Biyoshi on the back, can he possibly glide the body to catch siren? I was going to say, for about six seconds, the thing continues to, like, just glide forward, just tongue hanging out, head just lolling down, like, ah. Everyone breaks. It begins to just slowly just go downward. <laughs> Can I attempt to grab onto it as it's falling? If you want. What do you want to do? You're, like, 400 feet up, and this thing's going down toward the oh, rocks. Dear. Actually, you're probably I'm just going to try and grab on as it's falling. Okay. Siren, uh, you roll me a strength check, then, athletics, trying to... So, Siren, you're, like, climbing... Uh, go ahead and roll your... Oh, you don't have the bless, right? Everyone else does. You're climbing between, like, uh, the cart and the barrels in the air, pushing yourself toward the rock as you're falling, spreading yourself out as much as you can, but it just, it's just careening away from you. Uh, you're not able to get to it this turn, and you think by the end of the next turn you're going to hit the ground if nothing else changes. Um, we go to the next in the initiative order. Uh, Storm Dog, what do you do? He's, he's large feathers, yes? Yes, a huge feather. I will pull out feathers okay. and, and <laughs> eat them to glide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you you tear feathers loose and go, I mean, oh, what check should this be? Brewing. <laughs> this is not a brewer's tool check. Uh, I think this is a survival check to quickly like craft something. Uh, oh, just, uh, oh. oh, the feathers rip free easily enough. Survival, not uh, not strength. Okay, I see. Yeah. <laughs> 
Makes sense to me. <laughs> hey, that's that a... Doug, You tear a bunch of feathers out, and you like you're getting ready to go for the glide. Uh, <laughs> POC and Rune, like, what do you want to do? As you start going <laughs> downward, just yeah, go Rune Fang's going down. He's he's not leaving. <laughs> you see the it's rocks, like... the water, and you're just like, right bro, here. This is gonna right. fucking suck. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> POC. Well, okay, so uh, this is going to be a little complicated, but I'm going to use one of these so that the pages okay. begin flying around. Okay. And then, oh, well, wait, wait, sorry. It's just we like can and this be I'm going to use this to heat up the air and create sort of a hot air balloon with the pages. Okay, you're gonna try and create a hot air balloon with pages, with paper, and, uh... <laughs> the fire to heat it up. Question, will hot air benefit me? Because if uh, if so, I'm fully on board whatever is happening. <laughs> what are you using as a basket? <laughs> we're figuring that out later. Right now he's making a floating balloon of paper. Oh, she can roll me an intelligence check. This is just your spellcasting ability modifier. Your raw prowess at controlling magic. Oh, oh. Weird. Oh, Story Dog, you feel a great heat under you and begin to flutter a little better than you were before. Oh, yes. she, your papers just fly away. They're gone. This boom. As you continue to careen down. Siren, what's your move? You're like... <laughs> Uh, Siren's gonna try and grab some cloth from the falling wagon and oh, use it as a parachute. Uh, can you give me a survival check? Oh, oh dear. no! You grab the, the hell? cloth, I keep like... rolling my terrible rolls! Cloth this giant you, hole. You, you have it set, right? You have the four corners and you hold them, and then the cloth tears the acid from the stomach having like it catches the air but the parts that you're holding on to just tear clean off uh, and I think unfortunately for Siren that is the end of that uh, I'm gonna roll uh, a D you know what Siren I'll let you roll this can you roll me uh, just a D2 uh, or a D20 if you get above a 10 then you're gonna hit the water and not the rocks which won't help a lot, but maybe. No. <laughs> you, you will hit cement rather than spiky cement. Uh, sorry? Oh, God. It's all good. <laughs> all right, you're hitting the rocks. Uh, sorry, Ow. hits the rocks, and... Uh... <laughs> this explosion of blood. <laughs> well, well you know, no, because he's, he's by the cart and everything, too. So you guys just see the cart and everything just hit the rocks and uh technically this is the amount of damage you take siren <laughs> oh. I, i'm just a i'm just a cloud i just disappear in a cloud of dust do you have any any last words you slam into the into the, the rocks outside of the iron i am not a bird of death <laughs> <laughs> oh no uh, with a cloud of dust, Siren uh, expires. <laughs> um, Storm Dog, this is your chance. You've got your feathers. It's a little bit of wind. What are you you're gonna try and make a, a flap for it? I'm, go I'm going to try and glide with feathers. Alrighty, uh, can you roll me a? This I think like this is Apple actually picks. like a a balance thing, unless you're flapping. But that's not of course I'm skin. flapping as well. <laughs> you have to flap. <laughs> Give me an athletic check. To he, he does have oh, the wait. heat from below. I have heat. I have feathers. I have. Yeah, you're not actually gonna get advantage from him crit failing. I'm sorry. It's not mm -hmm. enough. But oh, he's go he's okay. And I get real angry. I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die. I am afraid of death. Oh. <laughs> flapping. Oh. Remember, you are still blessed. Oh uh, no, you're Actually, dead. The blessing's gone as soon as Siren hits the, hits the uh, rocks. Disappears into the cloud of dust. Which actually yeah. is on this round. So for that roll, you do have Oh, okay. He's, he's fair. Because it all is happening simultaneously. Oh, thank uh, you. Isn't this better? It's a little better. 
Uh, all right, Bioshi, you're the one. You're the one on the bird who's still trying to live. What would you like to do? Does it look like Storm Dog's gonna make it? Storm Dog doesn't look great. Storm Dog's a beefy, a tall, heavy, beefy character, and those Very feathers tall. don't seem like they're doing much. He's also weighted down by like 80 pounds of beer. Hey, Mo. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. He's, right, you have, uh, have a, shorts, uh, right? Yes, he's special magical. Have magical shorts. shorts. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> so, what what do you want to do, Bioshi? What are we passing? Might maybe would work. What are we passing down by as as we fall? It's like a cliff edge. Not a lot. Would I be able to shoot an arrow into the cliff edge to try and catch me? You could try. Like, shoot an arrow with a rope. <laughs> I mean, at and... your very worst, you could, like, just run up the, the bird and try and jump upwards. At least you have something to push off of. You could try that. Or you could try to shoot the arrow and grab onto it. Whichever you think sounds more reasonable. Or if you have a different idea, go for it. Okay, I'm gonna grab some feathers and I'm gonna jump. <laughs> Like, well, I'm gonna <laughs> jump and I'm gonna go for the cliff. Like, look for a nice little, okay. little like cavern somewhere. Yeah, I mean, this is the sheer cliff part. Sky holds like way above you. Can you roll me an athletics check? To are you trying to flap with the feathers or glide with the feathers? I glide. All right, that'd be an acrobatics check. It's your balance. <laughs> <laughs> Biyoshi, you've angled the feathers the wrong way! You're going down faster! <laughs> oh no! Uh, Not even Bless can save you. Roadfang, what are you doing? You're the last one. Uh, <clears throat> the moment before it hits, I'm jumping. <laughs> Alright, you do have those extra bunny folk jump. So, like, this actually could help you. Um, you know, that's not even a. No, I think you're good. You spent the last three turns of crashing, bracing for the jump, so I'll give it to you, I think. Um, oh boy. Biyoshi, Storm Dog, and Rinfang, I need you each to roll me a 20 Again, you want to get above a 10. Nope. Oh no. Yes, above 10. Rinfang, you actually have advantage from the from the bird, so you can roll it. Uh, but... All right, How much am I slow than my fault? <laughs> so, what happens here? Uh, Rune Fang, you're going to take half of this from oh. your jump. You leap upwards, oh. but you still slam into rocks. Ow. Um, 41 I'm points. down. That, that, does it kill you or just knock you out? I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, that would. <laughs> yeah, 41 points from your current health. We are level three. Yeah, I, I'm just saying. Like, that's the fall damage, guys. The fall damage is. Um, I know, but we are level three. Yeah. Even if uh, they were all ones, we'd still, I'm pretty sure we'd still be dead. In negative maximum. Anyway, uh, Biyoshi, um, you also- That's how many I'm at. Uh, <laughs> negative 17 out of a maximum of how much health? 24. You're still alive. You're maimed. There's blood everywhere, but you You're are unconscious. Alive. I also You're have alive. second wind. You're starting, well, it's a little late for the second wind. As you're starting to sink into the water and drown. Um, actually, you hit the rocks. So, oh, God. There's just a smear of blood. <laughs> as you just hit the rock and skid it a little bit. Which is helpful <clears throat> for your face. But it's great for dying less. Uh, Bioshi, you're also going to take half. Or actually, Bioshi, you totally failed. So you're going to just take 69 points of damage. <laughs> Bioshi, what's your kind of last word here? Because I think that kills you. I knew I shouldn't have trusted the voices. <laughs> then, oh, Crunch! <laughs> into the rocks. Uh, Storm Dog, you're gonna take uh, half of this. Or you're gonna take this damage because you landed on the, the flat part. Uh, so you're gonna take 35 points, but I think you're raging, right? I am, yes. So it's actually only 17. I think you're still up. I am still up, yes. <laughs> oh, As, uh, what a you, wild ride. <laughs> yeah, you hit the water with a. Let's hope oh. you can heal yourself. The water, uh, the, the rock <laughs> splashes and crashes into the water. Uh, and Storm Dog, you're like dazed for a moment. You see Rune Fang like slowly sliding down the side of the rock face, <laughs> seemingly in one piece. You watch Biyoshi hit the, the, the wall. <laughs> oh, this, he's going and to yeah, 
and Cyber turned into a, just a, pot, a huge <laughs> pot of dust. But as you're kind of lying there, you see uh, kind of flying down from Skyhold above many, many Aarakocra as they start to fly down to your to your aid uh, as you start to, you know, swim toward the rocks where the nearest one is Runefang. Yes. They, uh, they already get to Runefang and Runefang, you are stabilized Yay. by uh, these these Aarakocra and they look at you and go, ah. Oh, wow, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Hello. You, you're alive. Yes. <laughs> yes, I How am the... alive. How? <laughs> I, uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I, I slowed my fall with giant pelican feathers. Wow, wow that's pretty cool. Yes, oh, pretty, cool, hit, pretty cool. I hit water and uh And they kinda they kinda peck around and look around. They go over to like the pile that is B.O. She goes, oh, not alive. They go over to Runefang and like they they pull him off the rock. Runefang, your face is kind of like flattened against it from the, the grind, but you're alive. Uh, as one of the the Aarakocra, what? What? you you look like you can do some help, friend. Um, and one of the the Aarakocra clerics gives you the only spell slot they have. Uh, you regain four hit points, Runefang. Uh, you're in horrible yeah. agony. But you are alive. I uh, I go to bird people and offer them bird seed ale, mm. and then I pull oh, one out. Broken. Mm. Oh, he's magical containment. Anyway, so, as uh, you like go to reach in for the for the bird seed ale, you notice your left hand is kind of like broken backwards. Mm, uh, yes, I snap mm. it back into place and grab a grab ale for it to mm. pour one for horse. Absolutely, and uh, as uh. You all, kind of, the remaining survivors, gather here by the water. It appears you have actually defeated the Rock of Buckler's Bay, and some of you lived, which blew me out of the water. It blew us into water. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, you guys. You have all succeeded on your fabled boss battle. And as some of you come to uh, revived in Bartholomew's shop. Uh, Pete, are, uh, are you there for the ceremony as Bartholomew greets them with uh, but of, a smile? But of course. <clears throat> uh, as you all kind of wander back into the shop, uh, you hear Bartholomew kind of speak out, uh, Greetings, adventurers! Um, I trust Oh, you are alive! Oh, um... People it's have good. been saying that to me today. I, um... Not entirely certain why, but yes, as always, I am alive. Um, I see that I thought Nightmare Court killed you. Yes, Nightmare Court. Yes. Um, I don't like Night Court, but with nightmares. Um, the Nightmare Court has been. Uh, how did you find out about the Nightmare Court? They've been locked up in the Plain of Nightmares for. Uh, well, they tried fighting to them for the past month. Uh, yes. You uh, you so fell asleep. Completely. You fell, as you fell asleep, and we had to fight them off for about a month. It's denying reality. This is um the things that you're saying are very troubling, and I think that um Roger has uh, spoken to me before about making sure that there's mandatory um psychiatric evaluations and uh, mental health coverage for our heroes, and perhaps you are experiencing some type of delusion as a result of the stress of the adventure, and you do not look very well. You look very beat up. You should uh, ask Mithir, Mithir uh, adventurers. That's right. You should ask them. <laughs> as, yes, you should definitely ask uh, the Ice Princess about what happened. She, or I sweet. think she was there when, when, it, when it perished. Do, do you remember anything about a million platinum check? A million platinum check. Um... I, I believe I, have... I believe the I believe the Shadow Court destroyed that check. Um, oh, he's but, uh, no, 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 no. You, you, enough of this nonsense. Um, and well, perhaps I could speak to my fabled heroes about it. And by them, of course, I do mean the four of you, as each of you has 
will succeed in your adventure here. You've defeated the Rock of Buckler's Bay, meaning that each of you has moved up to the next tier of adventuring. What do you mean you'll talk to us about it? You're completely blowing us off. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm yes. used to that, yeah, but watches, still. Watches begins to, be, begins to kind of like pour down from around you, <laughs> and you hear kind of arcanely created clapping sound effects kind of start to uh, start to kind of overlap and, and drown out your kind of words as you mentioned that he's blowing you off. Um, <laughs> so Bartholomew looks um, very good, very good. In that case, uh, of course, all of you have bravely succeeded in defeating. <coughs> Rock of Buckler's Bay. As such, each of you will be rewarded with an additional stipend of Bartholomew Bucks and will move up to the fabled tier of adventurers. Uh, and he steps up in line. Naturally, I'm sure that each of you have, have since chosen your titles. And he steps first to you, Miyoshi. Uh, and he says to you, Miyoshi, when you first joined, um, well, you were one of the less um, capable heroes. I, I, of course, mean no offense when I say this, but you are not one of the more powerful individuals that joined up with us. However, I will say that you have shown more growth than any other hero ever before to battle in the land of D&D time. Um, in the kind of few short adventures, the few times that you've chosen to risk your life, you have become, well, an accomplished adventurer, perhaps though you may not see it in yourself. Hey, 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 Roger, from an honest face, is, is he just trying to butter me up? What? I'll be? Oh, uh, Biyoshi, I'm gonna be real. You know, I don't think you're too bad. You know, I think I think we could go bird watching sometime. Oh, that oh. sounds lovely. Almost like friends. You're the dirt Almost like friends. Stay away from boats. What just happened? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I plan to stay away from birds for a while. Biyoshi, have you chosen your title? Well, I, I, I guess. <laughs> what have you chosen? Well, I, I'm Biyoshi. Only kind of useless. Uh, a title... I normally would say a fitting title. I feel like you're being a bit hard on yourself, Biyoshi. But if that is truly what you wish to be called, then... So be it. What, what do you mean, hard on myself? I'm only kind of useless, not completely useless, like I, like I always and thought. I suppose I did not consider it in that way. Yoshi, you shall be known now throughout the land as only kind of useless. Congratulations on your promotion. Uh, and hands you a sack of Bartholomew Bucks, as well as, uh, well, double the normal rate for the Fatal Tier, so 400 Bartholomew Bucks you gain in this instance. Um, he moves next uh, as he kind of continues down the line and passes in front of you, Stormdog. Stormdog, um, before, hello. I into, uh, yes, hello. Uh, before I get into the details, I just wanted to say I've been uh, speaking with uh, your business associates, your family, and um, but we're actually going to do some cross promotions here. Uh, and you see, just points to over in the side of the shop, there's just a little poster on the wall that says uh, Stormdog Ale. Yes, very good. You want wizard brew? Um, yes, I would actually love one. Yeah, I've uh, made special one for you. It tastes like greed. Um, that, you, you know me very well. It's my <laughs> one of my favorite flavors. I will not say necessarily my number one, but it, it's very good. Um, Strong dog. Aside from your well expertise in brewing, you've also proven impeccably strong and accomplished each thing with creativity as he thinks back to a recent moment uh, upon a falling bird and with panache. Uh, have you chosen your title, Stormdog? Yes. Uh, I am Stormdog the Strong, nor in proprietor, <laughs> Strong Dog, Drinking Mead, Brewery and Tavern. And so you shall be known as Stormdog the Strong, owner and proprietor of Stormdog, Drink and Mead Tavern? Brewery and tavern. Brewery and tavern. You may have to write it down to make sure that I inform properly all the people of the land in D&D time to stop referring to you as such. Very and good, only ever restoring referring to me as such. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, <laughs> he hands you over your kind of silver platter with your Bartholomew uh, coins upon it. Uh, or Bartholomew bucks, but of course, as always, they're the jingling coins. Uh, when he gives them to you in the bag, and they just become bucks when you take them out. Um, yes, very good. 
Uh, as he moves down the line, he looks next towards you, Runefang. Runefang. I you feel are... like shit. Yes, I can tell. You are one of the younger adventurers, perhaps the youngest here amongst the lands of the Indie Time and the adventurers, but in your short life, you've done so much. You have become a member of multiple churches. You've been kicked out. You've been redeemed. And you have a native curiosity. Your study of the trigonometric mathematics, it shows that you are willing to approach each new day with a passion and grow as an individual. And Fang, I am very excited to see what is around the corner for you and what you will do in the future. And Fang, have you chosen now your title? The champion of Bahamut and the Cloud. A fitting for one so versatile as yourself, but you will choose both. And so you shall be named shall be known as Runefang, champion of Bahamut and the cloud. And he hands you your 400 Bartholomew bucks. <laughs> it takes them with his one good hand. Yes. Uh, <laughs> just kind of like, you feel as like you grab onto it and like the weight of it is kind of like just hurting your, your kind of beat up body. You just like, like cast ow. a levitate on it. Just cast a <laughs> levitate on it so it's just floating there. Uh, and then he moves uh, down to the last in line there. Uh, he steps before you, Siren. Siren. There are many in the land of D&D time that would, and amongst the adventuring group, that might question your practices or your beliefs. Um, certainly they are a bit from the normal, a bit deviated as such. However, here amongst our adventuring troop, we prize ability, and well, frankly, your alternative viewpoint can be a refreshing one in a lot of places. Your respect for undeath and your continued striving to see that their reputation is, uh, to some degree, altered, even if your particular patron's beliefs are a bit beyond my own understanding at the moment still. Siren, you complete each task with efficacy, efficacy, and class. <laughs> have you chosen your title, Siren? I have. It is High Priest of the Crypt Keeper, Emissary of the Lich Lord. Very well. So you shall be known as Siren, High Priest of the Crypt Keeper, Emissary of the Lich Lord. Uh, and he hands you your Bartholomew Bucks. Uh, once more, there's another sort of round of applause, and you watch as the confetti kind of pff, uh, sparks one more time, and Bartholomew speaks up. And with that, I do so promote each of you to Fable Tier Adventures. I cannot wait to see what the future holds. The beginning of your questing is just upon the horizon now. Uh, best of luck to you in all of your future endeavors. Uh, and with a, this final kind of round of applause, um, you see the kind of the conjured music in the space uh, slowly sort of fades, and Bartholomew says, Very well, and you all look very tired, but I suppose some of you may wish to. Yes. Your... I, I think I heard a voice telling me something about a raffle. Um, a raffle? Uh, Jeremy, would you care to? We're gonna to deal you... with that at uh, at the end. Oh yes, we had to know, do. Uh, I'd like to do shopping first. If any of you need to shop. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I was just <laughs> told to remind 